Hey everyone, this is Trial of Misty Rain. Um, hi. It's been a long time since I've been on camera. Uh, this will be my first video um, of my blogging journey. Whatever. Uh, so, let me just update you on where I've been, what I've been doing. So... As you can see, well, you probably can't see or tell, but I've gotten a new apartment. Me and my boyfriend have been here for about three and a half to four weeks already. It's about to be a month. We like the place, love the area. Um, I'll probably do an apartment tour soon, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Aside from the apartment, about a week and a half ago, um, I suffered from cellulitis of the lip, which was crazy. Like, it was completely horrendous, and I was mortified. One day I was fine, then I woke up, and my entire top lip was swollen. So me being me and not liking hospitals, I said, eh, I'll take some ibuprofen, I'll put some ice on it, and I'll rest and see how what happens. So the next day comes around and it's even bigger. So needless to say, I had to go to the hospital. <sighs> the only good thing about going to the hospital was they gave me medicine for it. Within two days, the swelling was almost completely down. It went from the entire lip down to the small section right here. So, praise Jesus. Not to mention that it happened the weekend before my boyfriend and I were heading to Atlanta to go to his family's. <sighs> I was like, if this is not going, I am not going anywhere. I will not meet your family for the first time with my lip looking like this. I don't even want to go outside the house looking like this. So, but clearly it was meant for me to go that way now because the medicine helped quickly. Um, Atlanta was great. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> it was beautiful down there. It was my first time there. Um, we'll be going back soon. Um, well, I haven't really been doing much yarn work at all. But I have a couple things that I've done within the past couple of months. It's not a lot at all. Um, so, I guess I'll show you that now. Uh, do do. This is just a little swatch. It was going to be a scarf, but I got bored. I like the look of knitting, but I really don't have the patience for doing it. <laughs> it just takes so long to get nowhere. So, this was going to be a scarf, and I did these on straight needles. And here it is. The yarn is Red Heart Spirit. Yeah. And I used two strands. That's why the stripes aren't um, solid like they're supposed to be. But I did it well. Each stitch came out nicely. And here's the back. I don't particularly like the edge though. It seems a little weird. To me, it's not as flat as I would like it to be. And when I ended it off, I used my crochet hook, and this is how the edge looked. So that's that. Um, a while ago, I was trying, well, practicing circular knitting using circular needles and I came up with this 
At first I wanted it to be a hat, but clearly it's way too small for anyone other than a baby. But while I was doing the um rounds, I was practicing with switching color. And um I feel as though I did a damn good job at switching color. You can barely see where I changed that. And it looks very neat. This is the scene, well, this is where I switched off the colors each time. But yeah, I finished it with crochet at the bottom. So that's that. <coughs> so, I found this video on YouTube because I have a boy room knitting set, the circular round set. And I wanted to make a sock. Like, I've made um, the slipper socks that Pam Loomer, Pam Chatfield, Matilda, Pam <laughs> um, has on her um, Pam Loomer page. But I didn't want to do slipper socks. I wanted to do regular socks. And so I tried to make some on the loom. Now, this is how it turned out. It started off with a regular brim. Um, and I didn't like it. I don't like it. It's so loose. I don't particularly like this. I need to get a sock loom. But then when I continued the pattern, it started to look like this. Now, this isn't self, uh, self pattern yarn. I just switched off colors and I think I did a great job doing it. And here it goes. What I didn't like about the pattern was the heel and the toe button. The heel and the toe were just like a slipper sock, which turned me off because it's very loose and you can like stick your fingers completely through it and I didn't like that and so after I did the heel I continued doing the sock but I was so disinterested in it by then that I didn't really care how it looked so I stopped doing the color changes just to solid blocks so it looks very awkward overall the sock would be able to fit a child because on my foot it was a little tight um, even after I washed it, it was still a little tight because the stitches are so close together. But, uh, but alas, the heel and the toe. Your toes can go through the toe because it's so open, and I don't like that, so I'll have to figure out how to do that on the round loom or just get a sock loom. Um, and the last thing I have, I started a granny stitch. Well, a granny square blanket. And this is what it looks like. As charcoal, cornmeal, charcoal, cornmeal, uh, burgundy, navy blue. And it has a little owl in the middle. Originally, I wanted to use this, well, make this as a blanket for when guests come over and spend the night or just hang out. But I'm just taking my time with it. I f I'm finding that I'm not pressed to get items out quickly anymore, so it's pretty much I'm going at a steady pace. I'll get to it when I get to it. Unless someone really needs it or wants to purchase something, I don't really um, devote a lot of time to crafting so I can do other things. And speaking of other things, um, I've been going back and forth in my head about blogging. I used to do it, it used to be a religious thing I did, posting one to three times a day, and if I didn't do one to three times a day, I did once or twice every other day. So, I want to start blogging again. Um, I still have my personal blog up, so 
I'll continue that, but I also started two new vlogs, one of which will be a yarn related blog and it's called Yarn Craft Central and we'll see how it goes I plan on putting patterns on there um, writing about techniques um, descriptions or reviews of tools and different types of yarn YouTube videos um, showcasing other people's patterns and their websites as well as their YouTube channels and um, YouTube um, patterns so yeah I haven't made the first post yet I'm going to do it tonight but if you wanna go over to it and check it out I'll put the link in the bottom description and that's pretty much all for me um, I'll see you guys soon.